This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Friday, February 24th. 2017 euro dollar so we've talked a lot about the euro this week and the 105 level and the importance of that level the market has come down to test and just break below that level but was unable to establish a close below 105 inability to establish that close below 105 does open the door for the prospect of a potential inverse head and shoulders formation on the daily chart which could see upside over the coming weeks as high as the 114 area of course we're only in the early stages here and that inverse head and shoulders will get a lot more traction if the market breaks back above 106.80 that high from the 16th of February until then there is risk that the gains stall out and if the market stalls out and breaks lower establishing a close below 105 that will negate the inverse head and shoulders formation and suggest the market is more poised for a resumption of declines of this broader downtrend back to retest the 14 year low at 103.41 from January which guards against a parity test further down so right now over the coming sessions short-term levels to watch above and below come in at 106.80 above and then the recent low that we saw this week at 104.94 below sterling dollar so cable has done a lot of choppy trading over the past several sessions and although we saw some nice gains in Thursday trade if you look at this chart we haven't really gone anywhere overall the market is consolidating below critical resistance in the form of the December peak at 2775 and while the market holds below that level the risk is for additional rallies to be very well capped in favor of a resumption of declines of course we would need to see a break back below recent support from the 7th of February which comes in around 12347 to strengthen the bearish outlook and suggest that the market is ready to roll over back to the downside and potentially towards that plus 30 year low that we saw back in October of 2016 at 118.41 dollar yen so dollar yen has done a good job being very well capped into rallies we continue to see this market capped ahead of 115.62 with only a break back above that level that's the high from the 19th of January to compromise the current uh, bearish outlook for dollar yen look for the market to break back below 1159 recent range lows which will accelerate declines below 110 and towards a measured move objective at 109.50 so right now over the coming sessions key short-term levels to watch coming at 111.59 below and then that high that we saw, that recent high from the 19th of January at 115.62 above. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has been trying its best to rally out from recent lows, but the market continues to be very well offered into rallies. And while it holds below 107.60, there is risk for additional downside in this market below the 2016 base around 106.25 and towards critical psychological barriers at 105 further down. Aussie dollar. So Aussie continues with its impressive run in 2017, but the market is showing a lot of good resistance up towards this critical medium term area uh, into the 78 zone. At this point, additional upside should be limited considering the uh, extension that we've seen in 2017, but at the same time, a break back below 76 would be required to suggest that the market is in fact topping out again up here in favor of a bearish resumption dollar cad so dollar cad in recent days has been very well supported down in the 130 area we did see a minor break below that level to 2969 and that was back on the 31st of january but the market was unable to close below 130 and the ability for it to hold above does suggest that the market could be wanting to base out here ahead of a bullish resumption of course we would need to see a break at a minimum back above the high that we saw this week at 3210 to strengthen this outlook and accelerate gains but setbacks should continue Continue to be very well supported into the 130 area only a close below 130 would force a shift and a reconsideration of the shorter term outlook for dollar cad Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has seen a nice little bounce over the past few sessions and while we could see the market extend a little bit higher, there are signs on a more medium term basis of the market carving a longer term top or a more medium term top and any rally should be very well capped towards that recent high that we saw up just shy of 74 at 73.76. Look for a break back below recent lows that we saw this week that came in all the way down at the 71.30 area to strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines. SPX 500. The S&P 500 has been pushing and pushing to fresh record highs, another record high this week on Thursday, and the market has shown no real signs of any form of a correction despite daily overbought readings and overbought readings on a medium and a longer term basis. But at a minimum right now, we need to see a break back below support, which comes in down around the 2338 area to suggest that the market is considering the possibility of even a short term reversal, while a more meaningful break below 2304 that some previous 
resistance downturn support would do a good job of strengthening a more significant correction. Ultimately, while this market holds above that 2232 low that we saw on the last day of January, the structure does remain constructive and should find a good support into dips. Gold. So gold has continued with its upside several days back when the market broke above 1220 after establishing a low down here at 1180. We had talked about a projected measured move upside to 1260, and now it looks like the market is going to want to test this level in the sessions ahead. Ultimately, the overall outlook here continues to be quite constructive as gold continues to show signs of forming a longer term base, and an establishment back above 1260 now will strengthen this outlook. Any setbacks in gold should be very well supported towards 12 now with only a break back below 1180 to compromise this constructive outlook for the gold market.